Continuity is something that's needed to tell a coherent story and it's important to have when creating videos. There are many ways to keep continuity between shots in a video. In order to demonstrate how to maintain continuity, I have created a short storyboard which I have titled Journey for the GPU. This is our protagonist, Leroy. Leroy is on a quest to defeat the evil wizard who has taken the holy RTX 3080. In the initial shot, we see Leroy running at something. Next, we see behind Leroy that he is about to enter the wizard's tower. These two shots were recorded from different angles and distances and gives the illusion that Leroy is constantly running at the tower throughout the scenes. However, these are two separate shots that will not be recorded at the same time. Since Leroy is running in the first shot and is also running in the second, it implies that he was also running towards the tower in the first shot. In reality, Leroy's actor likely ran a short distance, stopped after leaving the frame, moved to the location with the tower, and then ran towards the tower. In the next scene, we see Leroy inside of the tower, standing in front of the open door. To the viewer, it might seem that Leroy just ran through the doorway and entered the tower. This is also an illusion. The location in which the outdoor shots were filmed was actually in an African savanna, while the tower shot was inside of a studio in Florida. By chroma keying the green screen doorway and adding lights, it appears that the doorway that Leroy is standing in front of leads back to the savanna when it is actually just a green screen. This adds to the in-movie continuity of the setting. Now, let's play the three scenes together with sound. Did you notice something with the audio? It appeared that Leroy continuously shouted his war cry throughout the three shots. However, Leroy obviously did not continuously shout throughout the three shots, since they were shot in different locations. By having the audio of Leroy shouting play across the three shots, it adds to the continuity of the events taking place. Now, let's apply the same technique to the evil wizard's evil plan. Throughout all of the shots, the evil wizard was explaining his plan, which added continuity since he was seemingly performing the same action, in this case, explaining his plan throughout the shots. As well as this, the shots are each at different angles, which allows for the cuts to seem less obvious. And now, time for the final shots of the story. In the fourth shot, Leroy performs a spell. In the next shot, the evil wizard disappears due to the spell. However, the second shot is actually two shots combined. Since people can't just disappear into the air in real life, a shot with the wizard and a shot without the wizard was shot in the same scene, and the shot with the wizard faded into the shot without him. Using this, it gave the illusion of continuity that the wizard was disappearing in real time, whereas his actor actually just walked out of the frame and another shot was recorded without him in it. Now, let's see how the full storyboard turned out. Of course, this would make for an extremely boring movie, having little dialogue and no satisfying introduction or conclusion, so please take this as an example of a potential scene and not a full film idea. Hopefully, you were able to learn something new from this video, and if not, blame the bad plot. <laughs>